right, I'm heading out to the worm farm. It's been over two weeks since I got out there, unfortunately. So I'm kind of having a hard couple weeks. But in those couple weeks, I've uh, sold more castings than I ever have before, which is awesome. So we're going through our product we made last year pretty quick. Need to get some, get my worms working faster to get some more product on the table that we can sell. I got a few garden stores that um, want some bags to put on their shelves, which is really awesome. I'm gonna do that. Get those bagged up this week and sent out. Um, I actually decided to. Uh, well, I didn't decide to. I, I took some advice to some people in the comments from my last bagging video that were, you know, telling me, reminding me that I need to have aeration for my bag. So I got a, a hole punch, which is one sixteenth inch holes. And what's nice, I can punch some holes in the bag to get some airflow. And uh, the holes are too small for any of the castings to fall out, so no mess. Which is the reason I did sealed bags in the first place. I didn't want, you know, stuff leaking out and having. When I ship it and stuff, have people open their bag and you know there's powder all over in there. So this is a lot better. So we're doing okay. We're just running out of product from last year, which is a good thing. That's what I want. Um, I'm taking. I got some more worms from Northwest uh, Red Worms. He sells probably the highest quality worms that I've seen, and they're actually the type of worms that you order, which. Not all the places you order worms from give you the type that you order. You gotta be you gotta be wary of that. You gotta kind of look closely at the worms. Sometimes you'll get um, forget the, like the forget the name the um, you order red worms and you get Alabama blues or whatever they're called, and those aren't as hardy as red worms. And where I'm at, where the weather changes to such extremes throughout the year, I need hardy worms. So I need to get the type I order. So that's important to me. And this guy. He always gives me exactly what I order. There'll be a couple euros mixed in, but I order euros too, so I can run euros and red worms here in my climate without too much issue. Um, I just can't run, you know, I can't run African uh, African night crawlers or or like the Alabama blues, like jumping worms or blue worms, or whatever they're called. Um, they're just not hardy enough for how cold it gets here. So anyway, I'm heading out there. Um, road's blocked though. Got to find a detour. So, and, uh, we'll uh, check up on the farm. It's been too long since I've been out there. I usually try to get out there once or twice a week, and life's been too crazy. Haven't gotten out there in a couple weeks. We'll get there, though. Here we are. Here's my buddies. Probably missed me. Let's go see. I think one of my friends was out here the other day who helps the farm. Kind of co-owns it a little bit with me. He was working on some stuff. Oh, it looks like he wetted things down. Things are actually looking not too bad. Yeah, he's got fresh stuff here and here. Sweet. Guess I didn't need to come out here for two weeks. I got other people to take care of it. That's awesome. He rebuilt this, put washers on the inside to keep it from tearing through. Man, that looks a lot better also. A lot better put together than the way we did it originally. Sweet. All right, let's get these worms where they need to be. Hey, puppy dogs. Hey, I just talked about how we were almost out of product, and I get here, and he's, you know, ran a hundred gallons or more of it. Excellent. And this is ah, it's fresh stuff. Good stuff. Got a little bit of straw in it, but I really sift that out later before I bag it. A little bit of straw makes it through though, but that doesn't hurt anything. Sweet. So about three weeks ago, I added a small amount of worms. I was getting worried and I wasn't finding any because, you know, they spread out so much. But look at that. We got worms. I only saw the one. But, I added such a small amount that finding one in this giant pile that is healthy and fast and active, has a big ring on him, 
you know they're obviously mate they're obviously mating when they find each other so, oh there's another one yeah with so few worms in here just finding some such a good sign I mean look how active that worm is too these are happy worms living in their new substrate their new food loving life okay just, I just need to keep multiplying for me you know let's get this farm growing fast eat 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 little worms eat and mate legs I'm going to get this a little bit wet again yeah, and also just to get some fun film of the the chompy dog it's already pretty damp from yesterday I think Corey was here but tiny tiny bit more before I add more worms you just like to lay in it don't you do you like opening a fresh bag of worms like I said this guy sends good stuff oh, oops drop that Ooh, they all look pretty lively. I was a little worried with the heat we're having lately. This is just two pounds. Man, yeah, they don't, there's no smell. Oof, that is slimy. I'm going to put a small handful over here. We'll see if those dig in. So I'm just kind of putting them here on this part of the farm still where I've been putting all the worms for a while. Just kind of spread them out a tiny bit. Gotta be gentle. Yeah, they seem very healthy. Very happy. I know this probably grosses some people out, but I just kind of like worms doesn't bother me at all <sighs> they're fascinating creatures all of five minutes later most of the worms have dug down into their new home a couple of the sickly ones left behind it's too bad oh we got a pest Here we go hmm have to watch out make sure these guys numbers don't get too big I don't think they actually predate worms purposefully centipedes I do think they're opportunistic and if they find a worm just under the surface they probably will attack it and eat it they're really aggressive but he'll also eat other bugs that might bother my worms so if I just see a few I'm not too worried but if I start seeing a ton I'm gonna be curious where they're getting their food get a tiny bit of fresh food from the new worms put it in a thin layer on top of them give them something to cover them a little bit it looks like they've been out here tipping this or more likely taking some of the fields which is you know it's multi-purpose use pile of feed Ooh, that's fresh and opened up that's pretty stink it looks like they just flipped this one that's where we're pulling from anyway. Perfect. Get some good stuff from deep in there. Still got a little bit of heat down in there. I can feel the warmth. I mean, it's 90 degrees out here today, but I can feel warmth coming off that. You can see the color change starting to happen too. This has been here for a couple months now. It's starting to decompose a bit, which is good. It has that really good compost smell to it. I'm sure people have been around compost know what I mean. Done for the day. Put about an inch and a half of feed on top of the new worms. A little bit over there too and covered this one. Time to head out. It's a toasty one. It's only going to get hotter this summer, but it's been kind of a dry spring, which has been somewhat disappointing. Um, but it was nice and a mild one. You know, really nice temperatures. It's almost June and we haven't even hit, you know, mid 90s yet. I think for today it might hit 90, maybe but it's not too bad. It's a little humid. There's some rain clouds hanging around on the mountains, but nothing too bad. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hope that was enjoyable for some people. Got a couple cool videos in the works. One is a, 
a fix of my experiment that went wrong where I, I did the, the castings um, ratios. Kind of redoing it, a little bit more simplified, um, and with some starter plants. It, it might take most of the summer to get done though, but I'll be posting that sometime in the next two months. Um, and some sort of off-topic videos. I went foraging the other day. Got some cool footage of that I'm going to post here in the next couple days. Um, have another video plan where kind of a use case of some castings. We're doing some uh, some uh, air layering and grafting, which would be really fun because one of the things I'm going to try and sell is uh, saplings since those seem to be in short supply nowadays. I'm not sure when that supply is going to go back up, so I'm going to kind of jump in on that a little bit. And since I have some awesome fertilizer, I think I'll be able to do pretty good at it. Um, got some mature trees that I that my friend owns that we're going to be doing some some air layering on and if you don't know what that is you'll learn all about it when I do it. it's really really cool pro progress or process I think you'll that hopefully you guys enjoy it